What's up Laravel developers and welcome back to the second video in this Laravel Jetstream mini series where we are going to enable email verification when users register inside our application. Quick pause. I'm currently working on a new Udemy course where we'll dive into Laravel databases and eloquence. If you think that there is a topic that should most definitely be included, feel free to drop it down below in the comment section. If you would be interested in the course or want to support the channel, make sure that you follow me on either Twitter, Instagram or YouTube to be the first one to find out when the course gets released. Now in the last episode, we have seen that inside the web.php file, users should be verified right here before they could access the forward slash dashboard endpoint. But we have also registered an account and we have been redirected to the forward slash dashboard endpoint. So something is missing right here. By default, the user verification has been disabled and Jetstream wants you to enable it whenever you need it. If we navigate to the convict directory, you will find a fortify.php configuration file. So let's open it. And if we scroll to the bottom right here, you will find a section or pretty much an array. By default, you will see that the email verification right here has been commented out. So let's uncomment it right here. All right, now user verification obviously works for the user's table, or better to say, the user model. Let's navigate to our user.php model, where you will see that the user model that we have is extending the authenticatable class. But we need to add an implements right here, since it must implement the must verify email interface. So let's write down implements, and it must implement the use statement that has been added, which is the first one, which is the must verify email. So let's add it. All right. We haven't set up a tool that will catch emails for us. So let's navigate to the browser and let's open a new tab and let's change our URI to mailtrap.io. Now what I want you to do is to register an account and I will see you back once that's done. Once you have registered your account, Navigate to your inbox, where you will find a section that allows you to set up your inbox through SMTP. What we're going to do right here is change our integrations to Laravel, which will create a couple environment variables for us that we can copy. Navigate back to PHPStorm, open the .env file, and quick note, don't paste it randomly somewhere, because we need to replace the credentials that have been added by default from Laravel, which is right here all the mail underscore variables. So let's remove that, paste in what we just copied. Let's navigate back to Google Chrome. Let's open our local host. Let's scroll to the bottom because we're gonna delete our account from our database. So let's do that. It's asking us for a password confirmation. So let's add our password right here. Let's delete our account. You will see that we have been redirected to our homepage. So let's click on register. Let's create our account one more time. Add our password, click on register. And as you can see, it's asking us to verify our email before we could continue. But it's also giving us an option to edit our profile. So once we click on that, you will see that we have been redirected to our profile management. But if we try to navigate to our team, you can see that we have been redirected back to the email verification process. Now, if we open MailTrap for a moment, you'll see that we have received a new email, which is the verify email address, where you'll see a button right here where we could verify our account. Before we do that, let's quickly navigate to PHPStorm. Since I'm connected to my database and I'm not gonna add anything, I'm just gonna show you something. So let me open the users table real quick, where you will find our user that we have created right here. You'll see that the email verified column or email verified at is equal to null. If we navigate back to the browser, verify our email address. You'll see that we have been redirected to our team, which is all right. If we navigate back to PHPStorm again, refresh our user's table, you will see that a timestamp has been added for our email verified at column. Now this was it for this tutorial while we have enabled email verification in Laravel Jetstream. In the next video, we will tell our register form that the terms of service and privacy policy approval needs to be checked before a user can register an account. If you do like my content and you want to see more, leave this video a thumbs up. And if you're new to this channel, please hit that subscribe button.